Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Days Cortez. S O K. Stay low key. Back at y'all with another video. Let's get it. Hey, yo, check this out, y'all. So this video is gonna be about the rapper Lil Dirk, man. Now I'm about to break down to y'all the truth about the rap artist Lil Dirk. Now. Lil Dirt basically came out around the same time Chief Keef came out. You know what I'm saying? It was Chief Keef, Lil Dirt, Lil Reese, um, SD, uh, who else, who else, who else? Um, Fredo Santana, uh, Tato, uh, Ball Out. You know what I'm saying? They were called the Glory Boys, you feel me? And Lil Dirt was affiliated with the boys, right? So, when Lil Dirk first came out, he came out with a song called L's. You know what I'm saying? L's up for them hitters. You know what I'm saying? That's when Lil Dirk had dreads. You feel me? And then, like, when he first came out, he got locked up. You know what I'm saying? So, when he came out of jail, he came out with a haircut, uh, signed a Def Jam, and uh, he also had some type of uh, deal with French Montana. You know what I'm saying? So, like... Lil Dirt didn't really become a, a big artist until um, he basically like separated himself from French Montana because they had some type of situation and he just started doing his own thing man he just started putting out mixtapes you know what I'm saying start doing a lot of features with um, you know relevant artists that's doing their thing right now um, recently you know he got the song with Drake you know what I'm saying put out a song with Drake that's a hit record um, he got a song on Nas' new album. Um, when it comes to features, man, like, Lil Durk is doing features with everybody. And, um, you know, it's like once he went independent and he just kept dropping the mixtapes, man, it's like, you know, his fan base continued to get bigger and bigger. And I don't know what it is about them blonde dreads, bro, but it's like once Lil Durk dyed his dreads blonde, it's like that nigga went Super Saiyan like Goku, nigga, like... Now, Lil Durk is bigger than he's ever been. Like, a lot of people don't remember, dog. Like, I remember when Lil Durk was signed to uh, Def Jam. And, you know, he was in, like, a relationship with Days Loaf. And this is when, like, Lil Durk was kind of like a struggle artist, bro. Like, what I mean by that is, like, he wasn't selling records. You know what I'm saying? When I call Lil Durk a struggle artist, I'm not trying to disrespect the nigga. But I'm talking about, like, like far as sales and hit records he had no hit records wasn't selling that many albums and even now like he doesn't like the hit records he does have is from features with bigger artists like drake you know what i'm saying but i want to talk about something that a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to the artist Lil dirt right now obviously Lil dirt being from chicago right with his songs right a lot of his lyrics promote gang violence black on black crime um you know he talks about smoking on people's ops you know what i'm saying you see him he says smoking on uh Tuka and shit like that him and chief keith started that and chief keith actually came out recently and said like his chief keith was you know playing a video game on the stream with uh some rapper i think it was ybn ybn uh j or something like that some goofy ass nigga right and Chief Keef checked the nigga and said, like, cause the nigga was like, we smoking on Tuka. And Chief Keef was like, hey, that shit old, shorty. Stop saying that. That's lame. And once Chief Keef said that, right, Lil Dirt came out publicly and said, hey, this is going to be the last album where I'm talking about smoking on dead ops, right? So when Lil Dirt came out right after Chief Keef, and said that that let me know as a man that Lil Dirt is a nigga that don't stand on all 10. Because why does it take Chief Keith to say that he's not smoking on Tuka no more? Why, why would Chief Keith say that all of a sudden Lil Dirt want to say, okay, this is going to be the last album where I'm talking about smoking on Tuka and smoking on my dead ops. And after that, I'm not doing it no more. Now, King Vaughn, right? King Vaughn was signed to Lil Dirt, right? Lil Dirt basically 
put King Vaughn on in the rap game. You know what I'm saying? Now, we all know that King Vaughn was murdered in Atlanta because of the situation that he had with um, Quando Rondo. You know what I'm saying? But this isn't the first artist that was signed to Lil Durk or per a person that's affiliated with Lil Durk that has been murdered. You understand what I'm saying? So, we all know what happened to Newski, who I believe is uh, Lil Durk's cousin, right? And there's other people that have been signed to Lil Durk that have either been harmed or killed. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of them. You feel me? So, these type of situations, like, you would think that this would cause Lil Durk to start making changes in his life to avoid these things to continue to happen. But when you look at Lil Durk's music, he continues to rap about things that he's no longer doing anymore. See, Lil Durk ain't in Chicago no more. He's not in the streets no more. He's not in the projects no more. He's not living there anymore, right? Lil Durk is a successful young black man who's a rapper. He has songs with Drake. He's making tons of money off of rapping right so why is it that this guy who's gonna be 30 soon why is he continuing to rap about what he was doing when he was in the trenches why is he continuing to rap about smoking on dead ops to the point where he was even gonna continue doing it until chief keith said that shit oh is chief keith this nigga daddy bro you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, like you basically making it look like Chief Keef is your daddy. Oh, so, so so since Chief Keef not doing that shit no more, now you not doing it no more. That's corny, bro. Because that show me that you not doing it no more. It's not genuine. You might as well keep doing it, my nigga. Do what you really want to do, my nigga. Don't do it because Chief Keef doing it. See, and this is the problem with the state of hip hop. This is why so many rap artists are dying. Like a hip hop artist dying every year has become a normal thing. And that's scary, bro. Because back in the days, you know, you had the, the Biggie and Tupac situation, but now it's like, dog, like these rappers is dying in packs, bro. Either from gun violence or drugs. And it's just amazing to me how a nigga like Lil Dirt, who's lost so many people around him to gun violence, gang violence is still promoting gang violence in his music is still promoting smoking on dead ops in his music is still rapping about and promoting black on black violence in his music that's amazing to me dog king von hasn't even been dead for a year and you put out a you put out a brand new album and the first thing you're gonna do is make more songs that's promoting the same shit that just happened to your artist that was signed to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? See, King Vaughn, King Vaughn was a young nigga, bro. King Vaughn was like, what, 23, 24? See, King Vaughn was a young nigga. King Vaughn was just getting into the rap game, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's just getting into the rap game and making some money and, you know, making enough money to get himself out of the situation that he came out of. So, of course, King Von is going to make the type of music that he was making up until his demise. But Lil Durk has been in the rap game since, like, 2011, 2012. He's been in the rap game for 10 years now. You understand what I'm saying? Lil Durk is going to be 30 soon, bro. And it's like, my thing is with these rappers is, where is the maturity in your music? See, when you look at artists like Jay-Z and... You know, 50 Cent, artists like that, you know what I'm saying? J. Cole, Kendrick, Wale, you know what I'm saying? Fabulous, rappers like that. See, these artists mature with their music. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to just talk about killing another black person. They don't have to just talk about smoking on a dead ox. They don't have to just talk about fuck that nigga, shoot that nigga, kill that nigga, fuck that nigga mama. I'm smoking on, I'm smoking on Tuka Pack. Them niggas don't have to say that dumbass shit because these niggas mature with their music and they can rap about real life situations without just promoting violence against your own people see when you fresh about the when you fresh about where you're from i, I totally understand making that type of music because i don't want y'all to think i'm a hypocrite i listen to that shit 
I listened to that shit. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Chief Keep. When Chief Keep first came out, I was playing that shit. Finally Rich is a classic album to me, dog. You know what I'm saying? I listen to uh, Key Glock. I listen to Young Dolph. I listen to these niggas, bruh. But what I'm saying is, bruh, if you got niggas dying around you, bruh, and you're continuing to make the same music, and you've been in the rap game for 10 years, you ain't even living in that situation no more, and you just keep rapping about the same shit over and over and over and over, it's like, damn, bruh, like, are you really, like, for the people? Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's why, like, that's why, bro, it's like rappers have the reputation that they have, bro. They have such a negative reputation because it's like, at some point, bro, we got to say, okay, what can we do to stop these young niggas from dying, bro? You know what I'm saying? Because these rappers, they got the biggest influence on the youth. On the African-American youth in America, these rappers, they got the biggest influence, dog. And that's why so many rappers is dying. That's why you see so much violence going on because everybody is trying to be like these rappers. Everybody want to be like Lil Durk and these niggas, bruh. And they're not setting the right example to stop this shit from happening, bruh. So what I'm saying is, bruh, when is Lil Durk going to show the world like who it really is? When is Lil Durk going to talk about things other than the violence and shit, bruh? You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, bro. Because it's starting to look like, man, like these niggas is just like working with white supremacy, dog. Because like that's what this rap shit has become, dog. All this black on black violence that's being promoted in the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, where's the diversity? You know what I'm saying? Where's the songs about the struggle and coming up and having to save money and doing this and doing that? You know what I'm saying? There's other things to talk about, bro. And, this violent gang shit, bro. Like this trap shit. This, you know what I'm saying? This drill rap shit. It's other things to talk about, dog. These niggas. What I'm saying is, bro. If these niggas ain't living like that no more, why is that all they're talking about, bro? You can't tell me that's all they know because they not living like that no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? They not living like that no more, dog. So that's all I wanted to say, man. Um, you know, I just wanted to really break down how I felt about. You know this artist man because it's time that we start exposing these niggas for who they really are bro and these niggas are problems they're a part of the problem when it comes to the black community and anybody that disagrees with that you're a part of the problem as well you know and when these rappers die everybody wants to cry and everybody wants to say r.i.p this person r.i.p that person but them same niggas affiliated with them niggas that's dying is continuing to do things that's gonna promote more niggas to die, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I wanted to say, man. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Am I am I overthinking this shit? I really want honest opinions, man. Y'all don't gotta agree with me, but that's just how I feel about this situation, man. It's your boy Days. S O K. Stay low key. I'm out this bitch. Skirt.